What is camera motion control? What does a camera motion control robot do? And how does it help me if I want to sell a product? Shoot eye popping live action sequences. Shoot miniature sets and models. Shoot dynamic time lapse content. Shoot a music video. Or if I want to duplicate real life camera moves into CGI workflows. This is a Bolt motion control camera robot and it is used to simplify the process of moving a camera package anywhere you need it to be around a volume of space without the need for complicated and temporary camera rigging. For a cinematographer, this means getting the camera movement exactly where you want it and where you want it every time. For a producer, this means no time loss building complicated makeshift rigs. And for VFX people, camera motion control means the ability to repeat the same dynamic camera move over and over again to shoot all the plates needed so all the elements line up for that final dynamic shot. Once I measure the focal distance to the object of choice, the bolt can now track this position for us. So no matter where we move the camera, the computer does all the work for us and keeps the object in frame. So now very quickly, I can track past the object with the robot automatically keeping the product in the center of frame. I can dolly in and out of the object and note how the robot is always pulling focus for us. We can elevate up and down and we can roll the camera axes also. And I can orbit horizontally around the object, perfectly keeping my distance, as well as orbiting up and down too. If I have a zoom lens attached, I can control zooming in and out also. And we can even recreate the perfect vertigo effect by tracking the camera in and zooming the camera out at the same time. And I can add in extra dynamic motion with the product turntable attached to the computer also, or even our car turntable. And I can do a combination of all these moves. We program in a few waypoints and the computer does all the tracking for us. And once we program a move, it's perfectly repeatable with pixel precision every time. I can now add and remove objects with each camera pass and because each camera pass is perfectly the same, it cuts together like one flawless shot. And to make repeating a motion control move more interesting, I'm going to repeat a pass with myself standing here, there, there, and everywhere. And look at me now, baby. Now back to our table. Let's get even more interesting. We can easily adjust the timing of any program move from slow and subtle to moderate speeds to super fast speeds. But why would we want to shoot this fast? Well, let's run that fast move again, but this time let's record with our phantom camera at a thousand frames a second. At frame rates this high, there are very few other ways to get any dynamic motion than slow motion video. However, when attached to a robot with high speed capabilities like the Bolt, we can achieve dynamic shots like this, like this, and like these. And for the few seconds that these shots last, a motion control robot can keep your shot perfectly in frame and in focus the whole way through. And now we can build in even more cinematic control when shooting products or working with special effects teams through the use of triggers boxes like this one. We can program exactly what we want to turn on and off or activate any turntable, any type of pneumatic piston, valve or electric motor, send an electric pulse to an effects specialist or trigger explosives and squibs, and even send lighting instructions and trigger other robots. And so we're only scratching the surface on how you can use a motion control robot. For example, we can program a move and have it record at 25 frames a second, then shoot the same repeat pass of the move at four times faster. But this time set the camera to record at 100 frames a second. We shoot a background plate, and then in post-production, it's really easy to match the two shots together. Cool effect, huh? Or we can do miniature scaling, where we can program a dynamic move to shoot a real-life A-list actor moving in the scene, then scale down the move using the computer to shoot the miniature plate. Then, in post, it's a breeze to cut the two together. And if all that's not enough, we can scratch the surface even further again and explore the emerging world of virtual sets by integrating real-time camera position data from the robot into game engines like Unreal Engine. This powerful application allows us to render virtual 3D environments directly onto screens or LED walls behind products or talent, and actually shift perspective on the screens as the camera moves, giving a heightened sense of immersion for the audience. No green screens and no post-production required. It all gets recorded in camera. 
And finally, we can also output a data file of a program move that's ready to drop into packages like 3D Studio or Maya so that artists can replicate our camera moves in a 3D environment and layer in all the effects they desire. So if this is all new to you, yes, this is state-of-the-art technology and although relatively new in Australia, there are studios and crews all over Europe, Asia and America familiar with working with them for many years now on projects ranging from massive movies to local promotional content. But more importantly, this technology is not as cost prohibitive as you might think and most likely a motion control robot will offset the expense of devising other methods to move your camera package in dynamic ways. A camera robot like the Bolt can be programmed in minutes, if not seconds, and deliver a dynamic variety of camera motion that is slick, clean and likely to blow your client and market out of the water. So please get in touch if you have any questions. We are based in Melbourne, though our Bolt's motion control robot and tracks is transportable to any location in Australia. Hope you got some useful information out of this video. We're Robot Face. Come by and say hi.